Welcome back to our course on Project 2016. In this section I'd like to take a quick look at the status bar. Now I'm going to deal with it in two parts, the left part and the right part. But importantly, if you right click anywhere on the status bar, you will see a list of potential contents and whatever's ticked is currently shown. Note the header there, Customize Status Bar. Now you might be surprised to see quite so many ticks but actually not very much information on the status bar at all. And the reason for this is that apart from the bottom two entries, View Shortcuts and Zoom Slider, which are the things that are shown at the right hand end of the status bar, the things on the left correspond to optional pieces of information you can show, but which very often don't show anything at all. So for example, if you look at the item fourth down the list there, filter, it's ticked and what that means is that if a filter is being applied to the current view, show the name of the filter there. Now in this case, no filter is being applied and therefore you don't see anything. So with quite a few of these items, even though they're ticked, most of the time you won't see anything unless you're using that particular feature. Now there are a couple of things shown at the left hand end. One of them is ready, which is the cell mode. If I click cell mode so that that's not shown, you'll see the effect. It no longer says ready because I'm not showing the cell mode. The other thing that's shown is whether new tasks are manually scheduled or auto scheduled. If I tick that, it will no longer show that currently they're manually scheduled by default. Now the other items, although they're ticked, there's nothing to see. One of them that isn't ticked is this one, which is the macro recording indicator. We're currently not recording a macro, that's a sequence of steps that we can replay automatically. If I check that, you'll see the little icon that indicates that we're not recording. If I started recording a macro and left this checked, then you would see a different icon whilst we were recording. And in fact, that icon would give you a way of stopping the recording. We're not going to be covering macro recording anytime soon, so let's check that off. And let's concentrate on the right-hand end of the status bar. Now, the bottom two options there, view shortcuts. First one corresponds to this set of buttons that I can use to enable different views of my project. So let me just click away there. I currently have Gantt chart view, but if I go to this one, this is task usage view. And if I go to this one, it's team planner view and so on. We'll be covering all of these later on in the course. And the fact that that second to bottom option is ticked means that those buttons are there to enable me to easily switch between those views. As an alternative to those, I can select the view I want from the View tab on the ribbon. And in fact, there are many more options on the View tab on the ribbon. The very bottom option, Zoom Slider, gives me access to this control that I can use to zoom in and out of the current view. And this basically zooms by time. So as I zoom out, I get a broader view of time. So now you can see in that view that I'm looking at quarters. If I zoom in by clicking on the plus button there, I'm down to months, then weeks, then eventually I get down to individual days. Now again, I can either use that, it's quite a coarse control, but I can use that, or on the View tab on the ribbon, there is a Zoom group that lets me be much more accurate and much more flexible about how much I'm zoomed in on the current view. So that's it. That's the status bar. Please join me in the next section.